My name is Emmanuel Wright, and I'm your host for today's show. You can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and all other social medias at Emmanuel C. Wright. All right, I'm here to talk about Atlanta, episode 8, The Club, which is by far my favorite episode this season. Everything from Darius getting kicked out of the VIP to Marcus Miles driving over people in an invisible car, hilarious. First off, I'm going to start off with the most key line in the whole uh, episode, when Darius says, this is pointless. Because the club is pointless. When he was at the VIP section trying to get back into the VIP, he said, yo, I got this purple band, I got this red band. The bouncer was like, yo, the purple one's for the general admission. I don't know what the red band's for. And that happens all the time because the front desk is always making up new rules and regulations for different spots in the club. And oftentimes they don't talk to the bouncer. And when the bouncer saw Darius leave, he knew he was going to try and get back in in the first place, but he chose not to let him in. And I, I feel like that happens to so many people just on a daily basis, just people getting played inside the club. But I've left the club, talked to the bouncer, said, yo, I'm going to go outside, talk to somebody real quick, and I'm going to come back in. Is that cool? They said, yes. I come back to the front of the line. They're like, yo, who's you? So I've been playing like that, so I know what Darius was feeling. Second off, I found it very interesting that Darius went home to play uh, Zoo Tycoon while eating cereal because... I mean, I've done that. I've been like, yeah, this is pointless. I'm fed up. I'm just going to go home and play video games. But it was also even more interesting that he went back out to go eat with his friends after they left the club because he, he was already in the house. Like, why go back out just to eat with your homies? You were just eating cereal. So Darius, once again, is making some very interesting choices inside the episode. Earn, great stuff from Earn coming from this episode. I found it very interesting that he, uh, he says... I don't even like the club. Like, I'm not even here to have fun. I'm only here trying to get my paper, which is a lie. Because every time Darius, or every time uh, Ern was walking through the crowds, he was checking out girls, he was smiling, he was bobbing his head to the songs and stuff like that. And if he was really about his paper, he would have got Chris from the get-go. He wouldn't have been taking four shots, talking to the bartender, talking about various philosophies. He would have been about his paper. And every time he said, or any time he said something like, Oh, yo, I don't even like shots. He would take another shot. So, obviously, he was lying on the whole thing. He actually wanted to be at the club and he was trying to have a good time. Now, Paperboy, I actually think, did not like the club. He didn't like it from the get-go. It starts off in the episode with him saying, like, what is this, champagne? Like, I don't like this SpongeBob shit. Like, yeah, I hate champagne in the club, too. I came in to get drunk. You better give me that dark stuff. I don't mess around with this bubbly stuff. So, I'm perfectly in a line with uh, Paperboy on that. Paperboy though, he did get he, he did get envious of Marcus Miles over there in the corner, getting all the ladies and stuff like that. And I think that he actually wanted to just go go inside the club and get his paper. But seeing Marcus Miles get honeys, he kind of wanted to be on that level and stunt. So I guess on that level, the bartender who says like everybody comes here to stunt, have a good time, and be special, is true. But I believe that Paperboy actually was there about his paper and just got sidetracked in the process. Um, some great lines out the episode was when, uh, was when Ern was walking through the crowd and he said, like, somebody smells like a double, a double stack out of Wendy's. I thought that was hilarious because, like, bro, like, that's random. Like, you out here trying to get your money and now you're just thinking about double stacks from Wendy's. This is before he's even taking a shot. Like, what does that have to do with anything? I mean, I also thought it was funny when he said, uh, Niggas know I drink orange juice. Like, I can't pump nobody for their money. Like, what does orange juice have to do with getting your paper, man? Like, tough dude drink orange juice. I drink orange juice. Paperboy probably drinks orange juice. Um, so, yeah, that, that was just irrelevant. I'm glad he finally got his money, though. But I feel like eventually during this season, Ern is going to have to step up and get some lawyers on the side or something like that or some bodyguards to go get the money so Paperboy doesn't have to come in and save his ass every time because, I mean, that's what Ern's there for. He's supposed to be the manager, so he's supposed to be able to get the stuff without putting Paperboy in jeopardy because, I mean, like, now the cops are looking for Paperboy because he had to knock out the club on the Chris just to get the money. Um, Marcus Miles' invisible car, I don't know if he caught it, but he ended up actually running... He, he, he ended up running over some people when he was trying to pull out after he was getting shot at. That was funny because in the future, I do feel like we will have invisible cars and that could be a possible problem. It's like, how could you see the license plate if it's invisible at the same time? Thought that was funny. Also, while watching this episode, 
I never really knew if the commercial was real or not because of the last episode, episode seven, when they had the satirical uh, Mickey's alcohol drink commercials and the Dodge Charger commercials. So now when I was looking at the commercials during this episode, I was always kind of wondering like, are they trying to market to me or are they trying to make fun of me? So that was interesting. I kind of like went through the commercial process a little bit different than normal. I thought that was cool. I hope you guys had a great time listening to me talk about Atlanta. Uh, this is Emmanuel C. Wright. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram, After Buzz TV. It's been a blessing working with y'all. I hope you have a lovely day. I'm out. Buzz.